we're basically just one step away from creating the traditional basic subtractive synthesizer. And the idea would be when you have a harmonically rich sound, like we kind of have here with this sawtooth wave, that we'd want to use a filter to smooth that out and preferably to also have that filter uh, move a little bit. All right, so to do that, I'm going to bring in just our basic filter here. And so we're going to run the output. And let's just scroll some of these things over to get some space. We're going to run the output of the oscillator into the input here of the filter. And then we're going to run the output of the filter. You can hear we're not getting any noise. We're going to run the output of the filter into the input of the VCA. Now all of the connections have been made. And we can use the filter. And I'm assuming most of you are familiar with how the filter module works, right? Here we have a low pass. Here we have a band pass. We can look at this a little bit in the scope if you want. We have a high pass. We also have an input that we can bring in here if we want to do FM modulation, which might be really, really interesting to do um, at some point. I'll leave that up to you to experiment with that, but you can see that we do have an FM input, so we could actually take the oscillator out. Um, I'm wondering if this is a good idea. Let's just try it. This is the whole point. Let's take the oscillator out. That's actually not really doing much of anything. So instead, let's bring in an oscillator of our own here. And this one, we are not going to have um, any sort of key tracking on. This is going to be our FM carrier. Actually, it's a modulator. Sorry about that. And we're going to take the output of that and run it into the input of the FM. There we go. Wow, we put the key tracking then on, then it's really making a difference. be really cool is to actually use an LFO to control this cutoff, but we could just as easily use another ADSR if we wanted to. So let's start by using an ADSR to control this. And again, I would encourage you to uh, keep good track of your um, signal flow here. Uh, the issue is I just have such little screen real estate that there's not as much stuff here that I would probably do. I'd probably spend a lot more time trying to uh, get everything to be where it should be. But I'm just going to take this one and I'm going to, again, bring the gate input here. And then I'm going to uh, take the output of this. And I'm trying to see what's the thing I want to control. I want to control the uh, filter. So I'll go into the modulation port there. Bring this up. That's the wrong one. Oh, shoot, which is which? This is the filter ADSR. This is why naming stuff is so important. So just a lot of experimentation here. I'm not even really uh, thinking about what I want to do because I already know what I'd like to do is bring an LFO in. 
that's just going to run continuously. I'm not going to use any kind of a reset or restart on it, uh, which I could do. I could actually run the gate into the resets so that every time it would start over on a new note, but that's not what I want because I want to just get something different each and every time this hits. So I'm just going to run the output of this into the modulation source there. We already have some depth set up here, as you can see. I just want to slow that down. All the way back to the note in source we can add some glide here that this depth is way too far let's actually go in here and set this to be uh, unipolar and just have it going forward like that let's bring the speed up <laughs> Just like that, we kind of have a functioning synthesizer, still unique because we're using something different. We're using this FM here, and we could again modulate that, maybe using the ADSR that we already have set up in here. Uh, let's take the output of that and bring it in and uh, maybe do something fun and interesting uh, with that control. And let's just see what we got then. Uh, let's set it deeper than that. We can do better than that also like to maybe take this bring it up a little bit all right let's check it out now i think that actually we should probably take it off of the fm amount leave that constant So just a very quick example of something that you can do uh, relatively quickly and um, without too much of a hassle. Obviously, it would be nice if we had more room to work with. But hey, you know, you make it work. And that's part of what modular synthesis is about, uh, being willing to um, adapt to whatever sort of confines you find yourself in.